So we're sitting here, nobody behind us yet. Road construction. <laughs> Jariah walks like a penguin with all his layers on, but <laughs> I'm cold, Jariah's warm. Um, sitting at road construction, we got still about a thousand miles to go today, so we're not super excited about sitting here. But it'll give us a chance to stretch and warm up and get ready for the rest of the day. So it's a gorgeous morning out here. Absolutely beautiful. There we have some people behind us finally. It's pretty cold. We're about 90 miles into the day or so. Let me check here. 96.4 miles. Oh well, you can do it next time. <clears throat> Okay, um, Butte is about 30 miles away. Hope it Have you hit reserve yet? Hey, pop your key into here and let's see how much we've got left. can't see but can you hear it sloshing seriously let me see the bolt over here whoa right. That's bolt. Is it really dude is that a freaking metal screw yeah that's pretty unique. I need, I should get it better. And it doesn't last. See a bit. I'll check where the next gas station is. Yeah, let's take a right.
Yeah, we have got to get out of here. <laughs> miles into an 1100 and something mile day. Oh, that's a nice corner. We are going for the Iron Butt certification um, from an organization called the Iron Butt Association. The world's toughest riders. Their entry level ride is a thousand miles in under 20 so that's what Jariah Miller and myself are attempting to do right now, 400 miles in. So I've got a couple clips under my belt already from earlier in the day, I'm sure you've seen already, but this is the first, ooh, that was a bump, this is the first audio that I've recorded today, so I wanted to give a little bit of an update, we just stopped for lunch and and a truck stop I used to stop at once in a while. And now we're on the east side of Bozeman, eastbound on I-90, where the speed limit is 75 miles an hour, and that allows you to do five over and cruise at 80 miles an hour legally. It's a great place to put down a lot of miles if you need to. Drove through a little bit of rain in Butte, enough to get us nice and wet. And then as soon as we got up over the Butte Pass, it dissipated. And it was absolutely gorgeous. Coming over the pass, as always, was just beautiful. about not wearing gloves is that when bugs make contact with your with your hands at high speeds it can be a little gross. Wow there's some people that really like to like to cruise on this road. I would say this has been about as tough as I expected. I was a little bit nervous going into this. Kind of that healthy trepidation before fighting off a really big challenge. And it's proven to be pretty, pretty well-founded trepidation. It is no easy task to ride long distance on a motorcycle. Now, when you got fairings and big, big motorcycles with windshields, and you know you got wind protection for your lower body as well, and all that, it's a, it's a massive difference. But for a smaller bike, or just for a cruiser, not a touring bike, but a cruiser with a little windshield on top enough to take most of the air off my chest and some off of my head. It is not an easy task to put down long miles, long days in the saddle. This 
ride that we're on right now, coincidentally, is called the Saddle Sore 1000. So that'll be fun to uh, get the patch. The Iron Butt Association makes you document in great detail every aspect of your ride. They uh, have forms that you have to print off. You need a witness at the beginning of your ride to certify that, you know, they, yeah, these guys took off when they said they did, and the witness has to be willing to receive a phone call or written correspondence from the Iron Butt Association to verify their statement. And then there's the daily log. You have to keep a log of every time that you stop, write down the time that you stop, and what you did there, and where you stopped, and what your odometer was when you stopped. Every time that you fuel, you have to keep your receipt. reading when you fueled and the, fuels, the fuel receipts should have a time stamp, an accurate date and time stamp on them to verify specifically the, the beginning fuel stamp, or the beginning fuel receipt and the end fuel receipt. So we have got, we're on our way from Libby, Montana to Colorado Springs, Colorado. And we left Libby this morning, I believe at about 5.20. So I didn't get that much sleep last night, which makes this ride even more fun. I actually don't really feel it right now. I'm feeling fine right now. But I'm a little nervous that about 10 o'clock tonight, 8 o'clock tonight, it's going to really hit me. I don't know. We'll find out. But if I have to, I'll just pull over and take a nap. We'll see. How about that view? Won't see a whole lot more of that. We're headed towards Billings right now. Billings is the next fuel stop. Pretty significant tailwind right now. Um, riding on the interstate is totally different than the back road. 